So I am now here in Hawaii. We're on a family trip for my mom's birthday. She's actually been here eight times. I thought she had only come here like a few times, but apparently she's been here a lot, a lot in the past. And all of my sisters have gone. Even when my niece came here before, I got a chance to, which is fine, because I've gotten to travel so many places, but it's really, really beautiful out here. Aside from the weather being amazing, as you can see, I'm not sweating. I sweat so easy in New Orleans, but the Hawaii weather's been completely beautiful this whole time, so I'm really happy about this. And this is only day one, and it's already looking so beautiful. It looks kind of like Miami slash Los Angeles where we came from or something like that. But we're waiting to eat breakfast right now and I'm changing because there's just so much time. And it's it's not hot, but like we're, we're going to be waiting for like 20 minutes to get our table. I honestly just want to kind of sit in the room and chill out in the room until our food's ready because I don't feel like standing out there. But I'll go back out because it is pretty. I could at least get good pictures out there. So this is the hotel that we're staying at. It's actually a really, really nice hotel. They even have like these fish tanks over in the restaurant but it's just nice and expansive and right by the beach too and the hotel that we're staying at actually has a built-in store that's attached to it and they have pretty much everything that you could need in the store they have cups they have souvenirs backpacks they also have snacks they even have like this little deli market thing they have alcohol like literally we don't even have to leave the hotel if we don't want to for food and snacks because they already have all of that in here but we still went out to do like some breakfast thing just because they wanted to see stuff. But like last night I came and I got like a salad. Today I'm probably going to get another salad or some shrimp or something. But it's really cool. I like that they have all this, the conveniences here. We'll buy with this too. Oh, that looks good. Nice too. I like that they just have magazines you can grab off here. So for our first official day, one of my sisters and I decided to walk around and look at all luxurious things that you can see and do in the city. And they had a lot of fancy shops where we were. Apparently this was like a higher end area, kind of like a Beverly Hills. So obviously I couldn't afford anything, but it's still fun to window shop. And like I said before, the weather was completely beautiful. So it was really fun to just walk around and just experience a nice breeze and not be sweaty the whole time. And Hawaii even has their own version of a snowball. We're now inside of a mall that actually has a tree plant right in the middle of it. So you can see nice nature and then you can see shopping centers. All in one convenient place. Yeah! They even have places to like sit over on the side too, like little cabana things and like this thing. And after we got to walk around and explore the local mall, we decided to head back to our hotel. Since we're here to bond together as a family, we have lots of things that we're doing together. Thanks to the trip coordinator, aka one of my sisters. And it was really nice because the hotel that we were staying in actually had its own little private pool area where we could get food and everything. So we decided to head there for lunch after we all finished walking around and doing our own thing and even sang to my mom. So uh, yeah, please don't join me. We're gonna sing Denise happy birthday. Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Nisi. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. The next day we went to have breakfast together at Eggs and Things. And when I tell you that line and wait was so long, we got there at like 9 in the morning and they still had tons of people waiting to go ahead of us. But we still had time to walk around the city and enjoy ourselves. One of my sisters had the great idea of going on a bus tour of the city. And though we could have Ubered to the pickup point that was like a mile away, we decided to walk first and then enjoy the bus ride the rest of the time. I'm really glad that we did because the walk in Hawaii was not only cool, but also really cool to look at. So I was able to get lots of cool video and pictures 
along the way, which was my second reason for going. Obviously, mom and her birthday was the highest priority, but when you come into Hawaii, you're gonna get lots of video and pictures. It just makes sense. Also, I'm usually a family photographer anyway, so they're also used to me taking pictures of them, for them, with them, and all that other sorts. And after a few minutes of walking, staring, and ooing and eyeing, we finally made our way to the bus stop so we could go on our trip. And even though Honolulu itself was really nice from where we were, once we got on that bus and started to get an even better vantage of the city from the mountains and everything, it was just breathtaking. And our bus driver, John, is actually a native to Honolulu, so he had so much useful information I thought was amazing and that I wanted to share with you, but unfortunately it was so windy that the auto quality was just not giving. <laughs> So unfortunately, you just have to take my word for it that he was very informative and very nice. But as we made our way further and further out the city, I realized we were getting closer and closer to the mountain. I got really excited. And next thing I knew, we were on it looking at this beautiful view of the island. So you can only imagine how happy I was when the driver said that we were going to stop at one of the higher up points so we could overlook everything and see this really cool chasm. And of course, since I am the family photographer and videographer, I had to make sure I got this clip for the family. Especially since some people, including my family, were like, eh, it's a beautiful view and all, but it's not good enough for me to get off the bus so they stayed put while I ended up going off with one of my sisters. Who's going over this side? But yeah, my sister, one of my sisters came with me but everybody else is on the bus so we're just gonna get all the footage for them so they can pretend that they were on this trip with us. way back down we got rained on a little bit so we decided that that was the end for the day for that day especially since the next day we had a whole cruise that we were going on for my mom's birthday which i had never done a low tower was built in the 1920s and when it was built that was the tallest building in hawaii uh it's not the tallest anymore but it's still they use uh, that building our first cruise was actually amazing they had really cool shows they had really cool dancers and everything and the view again was completely amazing and i have to say also going on a cruise with my family for the first time was also really nice i got to go with my niece and my nephew and i hardly get to go on any type of thing with them and even though i see and do things with my sister and my mom just getting to do all of this together with everybody was nice and then to cap off all the fun things that we did the next day we went to a luau maybe it was a hula please welcome to the stage GLA. Almost 200 people here in the crowd right now. One more time. Aloha! Aloha! Hands on the hips. Man, make the fist nice and strong. Chest out. We're going to sit down a little bit, bend our knees. And the most important thing is to smile. All right? Smile even if you're, you know, sad, tired on the inside. 
Don't show it, just smile, be happy all the time. That's why. Here at the beach now. This is the second to last day I'm gonna be here. Actually, this is the last last day. Tomorrow we leave. So I'm taking it all in while I can. He's going snorkeling, looks cool. There's like this walk where you can go and stuff. You can clearly see that these birds are very used to people because they're literally, my foot's right here and they're just there. They don't care. They're just like, all right. Some of these actually have tags on them too. So I'm guessing they're like, I don't know, wildlife birds or something. But it's pretty cool looking. I don't know if these are pigeons or what, but they're pretty gross. But it's always interesting when you could get this close to birds and they're just like, yeah, that's cool. And I know I've said it through most of this video, but this really was an amazing thing to be able to do as an entire family. I was missing a few nieces and nephews, but they all had to work, but we're still there in spirit. But in terms of my brother-in-law, my stepfather, my sisters, and even my mom, we hardly ever get to do anything together on this type of a scale. And I really enjoyed traveling together as a family. And even though I got back home sick and broke, it was still memories that I'd never trade for the world. And I hope that you all get a chance to do something like this with your family one day. And thank you for bringing the family together as usual mom. I love you and happy birthday. <laughs>